This is Rabbi Yehuda Levin with a message for Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum. Don't you feel that you owe something to the hundreds of thousands or perhaps millions of religious social conservative supporters and donors, the people who I might call now the religious remnant, who voted for you principally because of your stand on the social moral issues, most particularly abortion and homosexuality. It's true that on one or two occasions each of you candidates brought up the fact that Romney has been a leading homosexualist for 15 or more long years since he promised to outdo Senator Ted Kennedy as a, uh, a homosexual agenda supporter, which he accomplished. And yet you didn't bring this up too often in your races, in, in the time when you were actively running against him. And now we hear that you are about to endorse Romney. And therefore we call to you, we call upon you in the name of your uh, religious, family-oriented supporters, in the name of your Catholic religion which is opposed to this whole homosexualist agenda and ultimately in the name of God himself. Do not betray your people, your religion, your God. Strong talk, but that's what it is. If you will roll over like the rest of the conservative leaders who have either actively endorsed or are sycophantically silent when Romney is a greater threat to us than Obama, because Romney is a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing, because he supports the whole evilness of the agenda, playing footsie and coyly says, I'm opposed to marriage, even though domestic partnership and civil unions is the exact same thing. But leaving that aside, Romney has promised on Sunday, January the 8th, on a national program to continue to appoint active homosexuals to cabinet positions, to the courts, just as he did in Mass, uh, Massachusetts as governor. So we call upon Newt Gingrich, we call upon Santorum, Rick Santorum. History will record whether you are somebody who is loyal to God, loyal to God's teachings, loyal to your religion, loyal to all of those who supported you with millions of dollars with their votes, or if you're another sellout, like so many of the other conservative leaders, religious leaders, and so-called political conservatives. The time to speak out is right now. Don't disappoint us.